so my latest project, uh, my oldest daughter, who plays the bass guitar, asked me to make her a wah pedal. So here is the wah pedal. This was significantly more challenging to build than the um, distortion pedal. So I created the wah effect. So if anybody wants to see a video on how this is made or the circuitry or the behind it, I will gladly do that. But since my last video only had like 30 something views, um, I doubt that that's gonna happen, but I will demonstrate it anyway. So here's where the input goes and the output goes. I made the switch, which um, normally is in bypass mode. Um, so it could stay plugged in with the pedal off and the guitar will still play. Um, I have a little screw on the end of it, a little makeshift, but when the wah pedal goes all the way down to the bottom, the screw will hit the switch and a little LED light should go on back here, which tells us that the wah is on and the wah effect will go. So in order to, I didn't have a spring laying around, so what I did was I made a little, used a little binder clip over there to um, provide a little springy effect for it, but it goes, it travels a decent amount. Um, let me turn it off. So the actual wah effect comes from this little swiveling block of wood that I have bolted on one side and the other side is connected to a 10K potentiometer, which affects the resistance in the circuit, which is basically, as I've discovered in my research, a multiple or multi-feedback narrow band pass filter. So basically the wah effect starts out with a certain amount of resistance going into this uh, bandpass filter and what it does is basically it adjusts the bandpass um, to a different frequency as you increase the resistance on this so I have it this was a little bit challenging to engineer but um, as you can see when you rotate the pedal forward this increases the resistance on the potentiometer. And um, as the resistance goes up, the frequency, uh, the resonant frequency of the bandpass filter goes up and it becomes a more trebly sound. Um, and in this position, it's a bass sound. And this cable, this basically electrical cable that I used uh, to transmit the signal is how it works. So let me demonstrate it a little bit. I have here an input cable. I'm gonna plug in there. I have an output cable that I'm gonna plug in here. That goes to the amp. And then, and then what I do, I'm gonna put the pedal down on the ground here. <clears throat> Turn on this little amp that I have. And it's got some feedback going on now. Here's a guitar that's plugged in. Currently the pedal is off, but let me 
turn it on. Let me position this. So you can see. can't play the guitar because I want to do another video of my daughter playing it. stays on bypass so you can play the guitar and when you're ready to turn on the pedal you just turn it on Thank you.